Welcome to Chewing the Cud. Here we are again with another sensational selection of showbiz stories, tidbits from the internet, and who needs a life coach when we have the epic that we like to call a life lesson. But before we even get to all that good stuff, we now say hello to the man who is as good at being bad as bad at being good, and he nearly cancels himself out. It's Mike. I don't really cancel myself out. It's just one of those things. I just disappear. You've been cancelled. You've been cancelled. No, it's more of a diet plan. Just Oh. Shrinking, shrinking. But yeah, um, I've been on a quest, like a knight of old, to bring you the lost treasures of the internet, including the best way of detaining a thief. <gasps> and I have some hot showbiz news, including a brand new role in showbiz that I think will be right up your alley. Oh, I do, I do enjoy a role. And you can always see what things fall out of our minds on our social media. Just search for at the Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us do this show as a podcast, have a search for Chewing the Cud on your favourite podcast app. And if you've interacted with us on social media, then have a look. You may see your name scrolling across screen right now. How's the diet going, Mike? What diet? You said you were on a diet and that you've given up poultry. No, Lee, I said I've not had c in my mouth for a year. His own c doesn't count. Let's play... Game of the Week. The producer can't be with us, as he's off to have a meal with his neighbour who runs a seafood restaurant. He says he can't wait to enjoy his mussels and cockle night. So, while he spends an afternoon working up an appetite, we are going to play Show Us Your Drawers. This is a game for my esteemed colleague, Mr. Mike Bennion Rowe. So, off you skip, mince, whatever, shoo, shoo into the, into the um, greenage room. <laughs> All right, not into the abyss. No. Okay. Don't scream into the abyss. So Mike has been given some topics, and all he has to do is draw them well enough for me to guess them. He's just lubing himself up now. You okay, hon? Uh, I'd say yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm ready to play as well. Go for it. Okay. Got my buzzer ready. So this, this, you got a buzzer? Yeah. Very horny. Right, so this one's, uh, this category is a person. Okay. Okay. Right. Is it a famous person? Yes. Is it Doctor Who? It's not Doctor Who, no. Is it, is it from one of those things that you really are into? Star Trekky? It's not Star Trekky. Star. Is it, is, it, is it Darth Maul? Your first word's right. Is it Darth Vader? Yes! Darth oh, well I done. I think that's a pretty good Darth Vader. Oh, I didn't press my buzzer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, next one. Okay, so this is, category is an action. An action. Action. Okay. Yes. Now I always get this one confused with something else, so I hope I'm getting the right one here. Okay. Okay. Is it motorboating? No, see, I always get, I told you I get the wrong one. It's not that. <laughs> oh, is it, is it down below? Not up top? No, it's not sexy time then. Oh, it's, it's nothing the to do one. with sexy time. No. Um, so I'm not sure which one this one is. <laughs> Is that is, is, <laughs> is it boobs? It's not boobs. <laughs> I don't know if it was motorboating, it would be. It's like motorboating. It's like motorboating. Yeah. Oh, oh, um, um. What's the version that you that, that you do between somebody's butt cheeks? <laughs> what, rimming. Is that is that what it is? It's not rimming. No. <laughs> Biking. Cycling. But with an, an engine. Motorbiking. Yeah, so it's the first word. Motor. And the last word of that one. Similar. M motor. I don't know what motorboarding is. Oh. <laughs> I, to be fair, I'm not quite sure what it is either. <laughs> so, so, yeah, the producers asked. So, can we, can we find out what that is, please? Can we, shall, shall I? Shall give, we? give him a call. Give, give him, him a, a call. call. Okay, right, hang on. Yeah, can you explain to us what motorboarding is? Have, have they written the wrong thing? It's written the wrong thing. 
Being ridiculous. Okay, this one's a place. Place? Yes. In this country or another country? It's in this country. It's in this country? Is it your dark room? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, is it, is, it, um, is it where the um, leader of this country lives? Yes. Is it number 10 Downing Street? It is. Oh. Yeah. You didn't press your buzzer, so you don't get any points. Is it number 10 Downing Street? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Hooray! Yes. I've even managed to draw our illustrious leader himself. You have, yeah. You've just not done the massive <laughs> on his head. <laughs> <laughs> just to draw this as well, yeah, really. Just do that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing quite well, I feel. Yeah, apart from... I, you're not pressing your pusses, so they don't... No, well, I, well I, yeah, I, I've got it right in front of me. I don't know whether it's your drawing skills have improved, or my... That's, it's not that. It's not that. <laughs> <clears throat> OK, so this one's a sport. Oh, um, forget it, then. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. It's good. I, I, we'll, we'll have a go. Have a, you might have get a go. Because we'll, we'll have a go. Is it a poof? It's not a poof, no. No, you don't put your, put your feet on it, no. Is it jizzing in a hot tub? It's not jizzing in a hot tub, no. no. That's not a sport. <laughs> not where I come from, it is. <laughs> <laughs> is it to do with water? Is that a pool? Well, it's not a pool. It, it is something to do with a bathtub. It's something to do with a bathtub? Yeah. Is it that thing where weirdos get in baths and, and throw themselves into water and then have to try and not drown. <laughs> what? Like, you know, they build like something out of a boat tub and then they launch themselves off the end of a pier. No. 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 That's, that's, that's the ground. Okay. Um, and there's another one there. Have you watched Last of the Summer Wine at all? No. No. I'm, I'm, even if I lived to the age of 108, I still wouldn't watch Last of the Summer Wine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, that, is that you quitting? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, that's, I, I, that's, yeah, I can't yeah, think of a sport. Bathtub racing. That was niche. Being wrong. Yeah, yeah. I do. I remember pram racing, pram races, back in the day. Was that just your mum putting you in a pram and letting go of you down the hill? <laughs> <laughs> you're racing, Lee. You're racing. Just letting go of the yeah. scandals. <laughs> But there's no one else in the race. <laughs> yeah, I know. I hope you can swim. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <sighs> okay, let's let's try, <laughs> let's try <laughs> another one. Okay, so this one's a song. A song. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um. Two little boys. No. No. No chance of me reading that from there. What is this one? Says ouch. Ouch. Yeah. Smack my bitch up. No. By the prodigy. No. <laughs> um. what, it's first time. That's what that's a first. Ouch. The first time. Yeah. Is it? Is it? A, is it an appropriate song? Is it? Yeah, it's an appropriate song. You'll have listened to it when it came out. Oh, no, I just had a buzz. Um, it's like a virgin. Oh, that's that, you know, that's... If you'd have drawn a woman in a wedding dress in a canal boat with a light, I would have got it straight away. But that... that what? That's the video <laughs> for like a virgin. Is that, is not, that means nothing to me. Oh, I'm okay. still a virgin. Okay, so this is a... The category is a film. Okay. Okay. Is it a talkie? Uh, it's a talkie, is yes. It? Um. Beaver Creek. No, but you're in the right area. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vagisaurus. No. The Return. Vagisaurus, The Return. It's not teeth. D -d -d fanny. No, it's not Fanny. Fan um, fanny. Do you just want me to say names for for, for, for female genitalia? Fanny. Tuppence, Rainbow, Twinkle, somewhere over the rainbow. It's a I game. It's a game. It's a game? Dra drag queens pretending to be celebrities in the... Snatch game. So it's... The Snatch game. No, it's not the Snatch game. It's snatch. Snatch, yes. 
<laughs> Whoa. How many points did I get? Uh, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Hooray! <laughs> oh, well, that's great. Well, it's not long until we bring you another special life lesson. But before that, we have Lee and the showbiz news. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we speak to the man whose recent dream about Kylie and Steps left him with an awkward conversation in the morning. It's Lee with the showbiz news. Did you know, mm -hmm. Quinky Dinkley, uh -huh. that Steps have just done a duet with Michelle Bizarre? I do indeed. And it is, I believe, the kids would call it a bop. A bop. A, bop. a banger. I think it's a banger. Yeah. A bop. A bop. Bop. Okay. <laughs> ah. Yeah, no, then there was come on my sheets as well. That, that was... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, yeah. That's so, the standard model, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Glittery. Like a, like a trail, like a starlight trail. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's do some showbiz news. Okay. So, if I, if I say... <laughs> I'm going to sing to you. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. What's love got to do with that? Who would... <clears throat> Is that it again? I know. Copyright issues. I know copyright issues. Right. Okay. The lawyers are on the way. So, who who sang that? You did just then. <laughs> but or originally. 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 Tina Turner. Tina Turner. So there's a there's a, a documentary going to drop, as the kids say. Um, <laughs> drop just for the gang signs. <laughs> uh, hey. um, on on um, streaming services imminently. Oh. All about her life from her early career all the way through to kind of like her mid-80s career resurgence. Ooh. We've got a picture here of what Tina Turner kind of looks like now. It's amazing what money in it will do for you, isn't it? I mean, I don't think she looks too bad. She doesn't. I know. mean, because she's in her late 80s. Exactly. That's definitely a wig. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> That's really rude. <laughs> yeah, it is definitely a wig. It's definitely a wig. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Tina's watching this and going, I thought it was really natural. How, how dare you? Uh, <laughs> Well, we watch a lot of Drag Race. Mm. We can tell. She she on, likes a wig, does Tina? She Turner. does. Yeah, big wig, small wigs. She had that dress made out of wigs, didn't she? Tina Turner. Yeah. No. She's shaking. It was. Are you talking about Tina Burner? No, no, no. What's in it? No, she did that whole River Deep Mountain High, didn't she? Not made out of wigs. Is it not wigs? No. Not she yet, wigs. Just doesn't shave that wig. Oh, it was, okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. So let's just so so this this documentary. It it's like. From her, like, so they've got all sort of footage from the very early days and spliced it together, and there's interviews. And um, she's had a really tough life, she has. even more tough than we actually realise. So, yeah, it's it's going to have so it's going to have like people that kind of know her. So Angela Bassett, who's an actress who played her in the Shirley. biopic. <laughs> Shirley Bassett, surely. <laughs> not, <laughs> Angela Bassett, t all right, not, t with a year. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so people can like tell tell like nice stories about her. They're not going to tell horrible stories about her. All oh, right. Okay. Um, and um, it looks really interesting. I'm I'm quite quite excited. It's going to be on Sky Documentaries. Oh. Yeah. We've got we've got a picture because she kind of had a little bit of a mini revival last year, didn't she? When she there, there was that remixed version by Kygo of What's Love Got to Do with It. Mm -hmm. That's a good picture of her. Is that a wig, Mike? Probably. But who's he? <laughs> he's called Kygo. Kygo. Is he single? I don't know. He's a he's a he's a he's a dance music okay. producer. Where's it, where's, I need this information, Lee. This is the important information. He, he did he did the remix of the Whitney Houston song, uh -huh. and then he did a, a remix of 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 the Tina Turner song. Right. I don't know anything more apart from that. So yeah, stream that or watch it or whatever you want to do, and oh, okay. perhaps wear a massive wig while you're watching it. Little bit of controversial news now. Controversial news. Bit about David Beckham. How can David Beckham be controversial? Oh, we'll, we'll lob up a picture of him to just soften the blow of, oh, of the. Um, <laughs> I don't think that's softened <laughs> anything. <laughs> um, I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I don't find David Beckham attractive. Do you not? No. Too many tattoos. That gives you something to look at if it gets a bit boring. I, I don't. I just don't get it. I just don't know. Anyway, so he has. He has. It's got himself into a bit of controversy oh. because he has recently signed a ten million deal to promote Quatar, the country. Qatar. Is it Qatar? Uh, Quatar. Qatar. 
<laughs> Why can I not say quetar? Are you, are you the type of person that says quin- quinoa instead of quinoa? Quinoa. Yeah, all right. It, it's the same sort of thing. Oh, well, you, you, knew what, you knew what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so he, he has um, signed a deal to promote this country that I'm not going to say the name again because you'll make fun of me. Okay. Um, which, Qatar. Qatar. Yeah, so there's a bit of controversy because Qatar doesn't have the best sort of track record in LGBT rights. No, because um, they're all on Sharia law, mm. um, and it's not the most um, inclusive and friendly. No, no. We say? So apparently, if 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 you're caught, mm-hmm. then you, you could well be punished by death. Yeah. So you know, for for such a high profile celebrity to kind of promote a country that that has that in as a law isn't great. No. Um, and it's not like he needs the money. No, it's not like He's he needs a coin. He's promoting the role for next year's World Cup, which yeah. is being held in mm-hmm. Qatar. Um, and it, previously he said that he's honoured to be um, have the tag of a gay icon. So you kind of like think, David... But th- there, is, there is a sort of a, sort of a light there, um, not particularly for, for David Beckham, but the... Um, he's going to do it with a willy in his mouth. <laughs> well... Not in your welcome, plan. welcome to, to Qatar. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think that'll happen. Um, so the the, the the LGBTQ pride symbol had mm-hmm. been banned. Mm-hmm. So this year it's going to be allowed in eight of the stadiums um, across the five cities for the FIFA tournament. Oh, um, nice. And be tolerant while they're getting the money in. Well, you know, if you kind of, I see it's small steps, isn't it? We've got a picture here of um, a lady called um, Joyce Cook, who is the FIFA Chief Social Responsibility and Education Officer. Um, and so she has said in, in an interview that, that they're going to see progressive change in all of aspects and things like rainbow flags, T-shirts, and all those will be, be welcome in the football stadiums. But it's kind of like whether or not you think, well, no, if you're not going to accept it, then we're not going to do it at all. Well, my question is, how are you going to get the rainbow flags and T-shirts into the stadiums? Because it's still illegal outside of the stadiums. You'd have to hide them, wouldn't you? So you have to hide your pride. And then is somebody going to be watching I'm, I'm people so... who are waving flags and things? Yeah. And Yeah, it's not a good situation. Just, and just stop being knobs. Stop being d- And David Beckham, you don't need the money. Stop promoting it. Yeah, or do, some, do it as a protest. So only walk around Qatar in a giant rainbow. I peer out the bottom of someone famous going, hello, it's David Beckham. I've been in here rimming. Moving on awkwardly to the next bit. So I found a job for you, a showbiz job. Oh, I've already got one. <laughs> but even better, you'll like this one. So you know when, so you, know when you watch... You <laughs> better know, than this. Better than this, even better than this. It combines both of your, your, your love of recording television uh-huh. and your love of sex. Okay. okay. Only one of which I'm allowed to do at the minute. Oh, yeah. Um, so, when you know when you watch a television programme and they do like a Rudy Doody scene mm-hmm. and they're like in bed with each other and there's like all kind of stuff going on and all that mm-hmm. kind of... It doesn't just happen. It doesn't just... just it doesn't just... They don't just... <laughs> it tends write. to be scripted. Yeah, it tends to be... Yeah, yeah. It tends but they don't just kind just of happened. like write in the script love scene between blah, blah, blah and then the actors just get on with it. Okay. It doesn't happen like that. It is choreographed. Mm-hmm. And they have um, a title called an intimacy coach. Okay. So you could become an intimacy coach. And not just a fluffer. No. That's in porn. This is in, like, non-porn. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Yeah. So, so you're not t- in porn, anything. you're a fluffer. <laughs> and non-porn, you're a what? Well, <laughs> intimacy coach. An intimacy coach. Well, in porn, the fluff, fluffer is somebody that gets somebody going, don't they? Mm. Because they're going to do porn. They're going to do sex. <laughs> they're going to do porn. <laughs> they're going to do yeah. porn. Whereas on television, in films, if it's not porn, then it's simulated, isn't it? Yeah, you're not going to go up to Dame Judi Dench and... Fiddle with a frottage, are you? You're not going <laughs> to... Fiddle with a frottage? <laughs> Do you know what frottage is? Yeah, I don't know anything today. <laughs> you're not, well, you're not going to. You're not going to get Dame Helen Mirren moist. You're not going to go up to her and... Well, her age. Well, yeah. So, <laughs> so, so, so to avoid all kind of awkward situations, uh-huh. they have these um, intimacy coaches okay. who coach the um, actors into how to kind of place their limbs. Um, no genitals. They don't do anything. Well, well, you know, they might wear a modesty sock. 
<laughs> what does she say? Yeah, which over there, bits and pieces. So we've got, so we've got, so let's just let's put some pictures up. So the first picture here we've got, this is Bridgerton, a scene from Bridgerton. Yes. Have you watched Bridgerton? I have. She is a very lucky woman. Yeah. Although I, I'd be slightly upset with him as well. I've not watched any of it, so I don't know. Any... Are you going to watch it? I don't think so. It, it comes on the sheets, not inside her. Am I watching now? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. um, and then we've got we've got another scene here from It's a Sin. Yes, six of times. Um, and then finally, we've got. I, I, I have a hard time believing what? that that's um, not actual sexy time. Not actual sexy yeah. time. That is the job of, of an intimacy coach. If you cannot to tell, prevent people from having sexy if, time, <laughs> if you cannot tell that what they're doing on screen is not sexy time for real, mm -hmm. then they've done a really good job, haven't they? Unless they're actually having sexy time. <gasps> Oh, you be, that's not allowed. Why is it not allowed? Because that's, no, that's a television programme. Okay. It's not porn. Right, okay. So if we're making TV, you're not allowed to sleep with someone. Actors don't sleep with each other. It's not like, well, like you say, oh, you're going to kill somebody that you actually kill them in a film. It's not real. <laughs> it's not reality. It's, it's like... Because telling tend. people is illegal. Yeah. Having sex isn't. So, yeah. <laughs> so, the, so... So particularly in in it's a sin, mm. the actors said that they they worked really they worked really closely uh -huh. <laughs> with <laughs> with an intimacy coach to kind of take the awkwardness out of you know bumming and rimming each other. Oh okay. Yeah. Final slide. We've got a picture here of of the ladies from Gentleman Jack, and that's the end of showbiz news. Well, thank you, Lee. Coming soon, we have our life lesson. But before that, we have Mike in this week's buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go over to the man who's not left a single root vegetable unmolested during lockdown. It's Mike with the buzz. Not even the beetroot, and that stains. Not even a tiny baby carrot. Sidewards. Tiny baby corn. Sidewards. Could be making guacamole. No. I just have to point out that corn is not a root vegetable. <sighs> Semantics. Horticulture. And I am a big horticulturalist. Anyway, I've been rummaging around on the internet to find some fun things and some inspirational things. Oh, how lovely. Yeah. Um, and the first story I have is about the son of the Nigerian politician, okay, who is known for being homophobic. Dolin Okpe, son, Bolu Okpe, um, has come out as gay AF. Has he? Has, yes. Gay AF. AF. Um, because he's in France. I think AF means something about being in France. Is it? Yeah. Does he not mean as f <gasps> Lee. Okay. It does. It does. But, um, I can't believe you swore, did <laughs> um, So, yeah, he, he confidently came out with a, a rainbow flag and a decent body. Um, just to say, you know what, my dad's homophobic, but I am gay AF. Good for him. Yeah. Um, take it that that didn't go down well with his dad. It didn't go down very well with his dad, no. He's had to fight off a lot of homophobic comments um, from, sorry, I'm going to say well wishes then. Not well wishes. <laughs> well done, you people, are, people, are, <laughs> people on Instagram. Um, so I'm saying that, that people, they felt sorry for him having to come out and that sort of thing. It's just a torrent of abuse. And he's just been very, very proud about coming out. And I'm particularly very brave because that, isn't the most forgiving country in general. No. So if it, no. somebody can, can be a role model for people. Um, yeah. Yeah, and he does have quite a nice body as well. Mm -hmm. I'll just take it to the shallow. <laughs> <laughs> shallow end of it, yeah. yeah. We probably won't be having the same sort of conversation if he was, you know, hugely fat. Oh, no, we would. <laughs> would we? We still? would still be having the same conversation because yeah. it is, you know, Nigeria yeah, it is is, well done, yeah. isn't great no. for, for its LGBTQ inclusivity. No. Um, but, yeah, good for him. And if he wants to send two more of those pictures, I'm fine with that. You want them AF. But we'll move on from that story. Okay. Um, now, COVID is, you know, it, it means that we've had to be locked down for a long time. Long, long time. And we're starting to come out of it now, slowly. It's on its way out, isn't it? Slowly creeping in. Yeah. Into real, real li reality, real life. But, there's, you know, it's been a crime to gather and have a rave. Which is why police were called to a, a community centre because they thought a rave was going on. Okay. Turns out it was just a bunch of senior citizens. 
getting their COVID jabs. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, police were called for, to the Saxon Hall in Essex as they believed a gathering of people having a rave was going on. And it was just OAPs queuing up for their, their, their jab. What led them to believe that it was a rave? Mass collection of people, it's quite loud. Banging Quite chains, loud. Why, what were they machines? <laughs> people doing Old drugs. People like <laughs> holding up glow in the dark sticks and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, they glow painted the Zimmer frames. Oh, okay. Uh, no, oh, oh. So they they weren't. They weren't having. They were rave. just being injected. They were, they were being jabbed yeah. with the COVID vaccine. Yeah. So was there, was there actual music playing? No, there's no music playing. Oh no, it was just general, uh, general just, melee. Just. Pretty much, someone went, oh, there's a group of people there, let's phone the police. Oh, okay. I, I, to be fair, I have seen COVID um, people, not people COVID. with COVID, <laughs> but, but kind of COVID police people mm -hmm. walking around yep. in special um, uniforms. <laughs> um, saying COVID police. Yeah, they're like COVID, it doesn't say COVID inspector. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, COVID can I have something. a look at your, your COVID, please? Um, and they, clean? I presume they, they're kind of just like walking around to make sure that old people are not raving it up around community centres. Yeah, because of course they're the first lot to be vaccinated, aren't they? So they yeah, are the they're raring people, to go. They'll, they'll be the first people. Bit of entrance and some some Vicks under the nose, and away they go. Vicks. Yeah, that's old school. Get you going. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I don't think it was Vicks that they were putting up. Was it not was Vicks? Vicks? No, I don't think it was. It was. They did. They used to put something under the not illegal, but they used to put something under the nose to get the get a high, a natural high. Is it poppers? No, it was. I'm sure it was Vaseline. Vaseline. No, is Vicks. <laughs> Do not get Vaseline. No, and Vicks different night, different kind of. Yeah, yeah. Let's move on quick, quick. No, I'm concerned about this. No, I'm sure. Let ask 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 the gallery. Vicks. Hey, yeah. Yeah, you were around at that sort of time. Um, putting Vicks under your nose. No, that's, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, people were doing cocaine, Lee. They didn't have a cold. Um, again, I will. I I have to research it. You'll have and, to research. And, yeah. You are naive, aren't you? Pretty, but Ooh. naive. I just say pretty naive. Moving on quite quickly then. Yeah. From your Vicks. I swear, I swear. Well, carry on because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna search it because I am sure that um... <laughs> you went very pressed and then <laughs> I went the other way. I'm gonna check it. Thanks. So while he's doing that, um, I'm going to talk about our next story, which is about Amazon changing their logo. Now, recently they've changed it to I think to a new. No, I'm sorry. I'm just looking at you with a, with a, with a, with an air of quiet, smug. Um... <laughs> Have you googled it? Yeah. And what's it said? Yeah, did it? Yeah, you did. So nine weird things ravers used to do in the nineties. Right. Vicks vapor rub. Around the very early nineties, and helped along by rave rumors and a spoof rave T-shirt that was doing the rounds. Vicks became something you needed to try to get a bus. To get a better buzz on your gurner. I don't know what that means. So that is it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, alternate. Probably they were a their rave band. They probably didn't help things because they had had the these mask things on their faces. Mm. Um, but did did it work? Who knows? But it certainly knocked your senses for six as the crazy smell went up your already very confused nose. Thank so, you. Yeah. So what they're talking about there is putting vapour rub under your nose after you've taken cocaine. Didn't say that in That's that article. That, it did. Didn't. It, it did. said, Lee was right, Mike was wrong. What is going on, <laughs> going on a gurner? I don't even know what that is. Taking cocaine. Is that, is that yeah. what it is? <laughs> okay. But I was still right in part. Yeah, yeah. But so was I, because it was about to Oh, come on, let's just agree that I'm right and let's move on. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's agree that you are right that they did do that after they'd taken cocaine. What are you going on about Amazon Summit? Or Amazon has cha <laughs> changed their, their icon in the apps. Have they? Yes. Fix. <laughs> yeah, fix. Yeah. Um, it's around that area, actually. It is. Um, and it, it's just stirred a few feelings. I mean, what, what do you see here? I know what you see. What do I, I see? I see a smiley face. Okay, what do I see? You see a cock. No. <laughs> <laughs> you see a big cock no. with a bell end on the end there. No? Is no. that not what we were going for? <laughs> it looks like Hitler. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's got a little tash. I see Hitler. And a, a, yeah. <laughs> 
See? Now I see Hitler. <laughs> now you see Hitler. <laughs> now I see Hitler. But I, th- I just thought it was... I <laughs> was... <laughs> <laughs> And the smiley face with like the little like cheeky bit there, uh-huh. or, or a cock with a belly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and if you see something you want us to see, and yes, Ben from Tibblethwaite, we have seen that, but we have seen better. Just look for the Could TV on all of your usual social media services. And that brings us to the story of the week. Okay, if you were in a petrol station buying some goodies. Oh, some M&M's, some Pringles. Some dis- goodies. Goodies. Yeah. Not goodies. Not edibles. Goodies. Edibles. <laughs> Talking about mushrooms again. Right. Um, and an armed robber comes in. Mm-hmm. How do you distract the armed robber? I drop my trousers. You drop your trousers? Yeah. Close, as one woman decided to detain the armed robber by offering him a blowjob. Okay. Yes. Um, an unnamed woman, surprisingly. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, kept her, her identity. She was in Eastern Europe. Basically, a man comes in, give me all your money, everyone on the floor. And she went, Do you fancy a blowjob? And he went, all right. And so, oh, who'd say no? Well, you're robbing somewhere. Uh-huh. Well, you've got the gun, haven't you? So, yeah. I've got time. Got time, exactly. <laughs> so, um, and when the police arrived after the shop assistant pressed the silent buzzer, um, he was there enjoying himself. Okay. Yeah. Did he get to finish before they put the handcuffs on him? <laughs> no. 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 So the police came, but he didn't. He didn't. No. no. Okay. Um, the 24 year old suspect um, asked people to remove cash from the safe when the 36 year old um, lady said, We've got a picture of this woman. We don't have a picture of Or a woman. picture of him. Nope. Not even a picture of the person behind the till. No. Oh, you see, there's no fantasies to be had there. <laughs> <laughs> Can you not just imagine it? Well, it, it sounds very much like a porn. Like a porn? Like a porn. A porn. <laughs> that just sounds weird. It sounds Why like did a you say it weird? It sounds like a porno. Yeah, a porno, not a porn. A porn. <laughs> <laughs> You say just because it was brought up correctly. <laughs> no, doesn't it say me? You say a porno. A porn. Or in porn. Not a porn. A porn. I'm going to watch a porn. <laughs> You're going to watch a porn. <laughs> no one says, oh, I was watching a porn. I do. Because I'm only watching one. I'm not watching a porn. I don't know. No, you're watching a porno. <laughs> a porn. <laughs> Anyway, so she, so he was arrested. She she got off. She, she didn't. She yeah. got off, and all's happy in the world. Everyone was happy. Oh, yeah. well. and he didn't get the money out the till. That's all from the buzz this week. Well, thanks, Mike. I'm going to go for some petrol later. I feel the need. Don't go away because coming up we have our next life lesson. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we smile and nod and say, yes, yes, dear, as he fumbles through this week's life lesson. Life lessons. You're saying fumbling like it's a bad thing. I enjoy a fumble. I thought you were more of a fiddle. A fiddle or a fumble. Mm. They're all fun things to do on your own. Yeah. Anyway, this week I thought, let's do something with with cheese wrappers. Okay. Because I ate a lot of cheese. Right. Um, So you know those those little round cheeses that you get in the individual wax wax things? Bebe. Bebe. Bebe Bell. (laughs) Bebe. And who's trying to be that? Moira. Moira. Rose. Okay, but why are you looking like a disgruntled pelican? (laughs) <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> let's stop that now. <laughs> so it's eating baby bells. Right, I went, oh, this is wax. What else is made of wax? Candles. But can- Were you eating the wax as well? No, I was eating the, the, the yummy cheese in the middle. Okay. And then what do you do with the wax afterwards? Do you, do you... I don't eat baby bells. Don't eat baby bells, why not? No, I, cause, uh... Oh, it's cheese. No, I do eat cheese. All right, okay. I just, it's not real cheese. It's not real cheese, but it's, it's delicious. You just stop judging me now. It's fine. Right. Anyway, um, so what I have got is a selection of, of wa- coloured waxes. Oh, is that what these are? That's what these are. I thought they were the scales that had like fallen off your back when you'd shed your skin. I'm not that brightly coloured. <laughs> quite pale. So, because uh, candles are quite dull. 
depends what kind of candle you've got. Well, okay, these tea lights are quite dull. These tea lights are quite dull. They smell nice, though. I do like vanilla. Um, these do not smell as good, because they smell of cheese. Smell like feet. <laughs> well, cheesy feet, yeah. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to make these lovely little tea lights mm. into flowers. Wow, I know. we're really scraping the barrel of life lessons now, aren't we? Yes, we are. We are. <laughs> oh, 21st of June, come on, let's get into it. <laughs> um, so what you need to do, first of all, is remove the, the tea light from its silver holster. From its silver home? Yes. Okay, I have okay. done that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to break it in half. Oh, okay. Okay, because we need the wick out of it. I don't think I can break it in half. Hmm? Um, Right, well, hang on. So you can break it, you're strong. Girl. But it didn't break properly. Is, is that, does it on my... <laughs> what do you mean break properly? Look, it's crumbled. That's okay. We, oh, okay. We just, want the, we just want the wick. Oh, you just want the wick? We just want the wick. C could it, oh, right, so I just pull that out. So you can't we... just pull it out, though, because it's it's melted into it, so you have to break it. Huh? You've broken it. Already. <laughs> just got the little silver bit. <laughs> Okay. Can I not just can I pull the wick out and then stick it back in? No. <laughs> Have I ruined it? Yeah, but it's all right. Just keep going until you've got a little white chunk as a base. <sighs> Your fingers all smell lovely though. Sort of waxy. Makes me um, makes me want to actually eat a little bit just to see what it tastes like. Do it. No. <laughs> no. Do not do it. It smells nice enough, right, okay. It does smell nice. Right, I've right. got, a, like, I'll, I'll stick the... <laughs> I'll stick the metal bit back on. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do. It's going to make petals out of our coloured waxes. Okay, this is quite messy. It is quite messy, yeah. You thought it was going to be a nice, easy thing, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. So you mocked me. Um, so just warm your wax up into your fingers, with your coloured waxes. Any particular size? Any colour. Just, just take a bit and get it, get it warm and workable. Okay. <laughs> see, I've cheated. I've been doing this before the show. Oh, have so. you? I'm, I'm very warm, warm bodied and mm. blooded. <laughs> so it, it, it's worked quite quickly. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So you just want to knead the wax till it's nice and smooth. In, do you knead it into a ball? Um, yes. Oh, you didn't see you didn't say that? I didn't say that, but you also need to get it quite smooth all the way through. So it, it's stretchy and, and pliable. I like the word pliable. So while you were sat in your underwear eating baby bells... No, I was naked. You were completely naked? Of course I was. I mean, jeez, why would I not be naked? Yeah. Those cheese crumbs. I don't, I don't, don't miss a bit. Like a hoover. <laughs> um, <laughs> mouth like a nunu. <laughs> a mouth like a what? <laughs> like the Nunu. Oh no, it's not about Nunus again. <laughs> right, um, but then when it's nice and pliable and soft, you just take a little bit and make it into a little ball. Right. And then you just make it into a petal. I have to say, this is probably one of the shittest ones you've done. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there was the there was the wrapping the string around the neck to try and make a scarf. <laughs> there was the knitting with with cooked spaghetti. <laughs> it wasn't cooked spaghetti. Was it? Was it not no, cooked? It was just soaked. <laughs> You just need to make lots of little petals then. Oh, right, right. so can I see, can I, to be fair, all it's doing is just oozing in my fingers. There's no, <laughs> there's nothing happening, Mike. No, it's working for me. Well, can I, can I have a look at a petal? Yeah. That's one of my favourite chats of life. Fun? That's one of my favourite chats of life. Can I have a look at one of your petals? <laughs> <laughs> That's a chat up line for you. Yeah, I usually do it in florists. Um, <laughs> that That's a good place to do that, or a petrol station forecourt, surely? Oh, I just offer blowjobs there. <laughs> right, I, I kind of made a petal. And then you just lay your petals up. So it's making a nice little flower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, just stick them on? Yeah. Oh, no, you're too thick. Your petals need to be dainty. To be fair, all I've got is a desk full of crumbled wax. <laughs> and I think your, your fingers should smell slightly cheesy as well. Cheesy vanilla. Cheesy vanilla. Tastes sensation, that. 
cheesy. That would be my that would be my drag name. Cheesy You've vanilla. Got a drag name. Yeah, but if I was an, if it was another drag name. Another drag name. <laughs> if you got a new drag name. Cheesy vanilla. Cheesy vanilla. And jelly blowback. From that was from a previous episode. <laughs> <laughs> was it, did yeah? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not convinced. You're not convinced. It looks like something that you've had removed from the inside of you by a surgeon, like a growth. What kind of things are coming out of you? No, actually, I don't answer that question. <laughs> um, <laughs> and you're just layering, layering up the petals. See, it starts to look a little bit like a flower. Now let's have a look at your flower. And you're the creative one. Do I have to persevere with this? Um, yes, in your own time. In my own time. Okay, I'll go for a different... <clears throat> do, do, is, do you have to... Does the wick mm -hmm. need to be accessible? Um, yeah, because otherwise you can't light it. Oh, right, okay. So, when you've created this hideous monstrosity, uh -huh. where, where in your... Your humble abode? Would you put these? Would would it be would it be around the bath for when you're having a sexy time with yourself? I don't have sexy time in the bath. Do you not? No. More of a shower activity. Is it? Oh. You never treat yourself to a nice romantic no. evening in a, in a bath. I with never have, have a romantic and... moment with myself. Get in there quick. Get it done and get it's out. A bit aggressive, to be fair. The swearing. There's name calling. There's occasional choking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Right. So, um, so yes. Answering your question, um, I, I would I would have this just just pop it in, into the into the little um, foil thing and just just light it and have it on a on a table somewhere. And you've not even taken the label off some of your wax. I've kind of decided that it's it's going to be what it's going to be. <laughs> you've kind of decided you don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, go I'm going for an exotic bloom. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> are you talking about with everything? Now we're sticking it together. That is, that is rare, from perhaps from the Amazon rainforest. From, from, are you saying you can buy this on Amazon? No, the, the rainforest. It's like an undiscovered. Blue. I think the Amazon rainforest has been discovered. <laughs> but yeah. So then, do you mash it back inside there? No, you just pop it, pop it in, and then make sure that the metal bit in the middle that you've taken off um, sits in the middle of the thing, and you can have a lovely little flower candle. Well, that's stunning. That's yours. That's mine. Beautiful. It's delicate. It is. Yeah. Mine looks like <laughs> mine looks like a smashed <laughs> top. <laughs> we have come to the end of the show for now, but if you can't hold out for a week, you can always find us on the internet. Just search for The Cud TV on social media, thecud.tv for our website. And while you're on the website, have a look for the support section for exclusive clips, including outtakes. And like the replacement bus service on the train journey of life, we have just enough time to bring you our vegetable slash fruit of the week. Stay safe, and we will see you next time. Bye.